This electric bike it's massive, very similar to Ad Motor Wildtan M5600 and Himiway Cobra Pro size-wise. The C-bikes are over 3K in price range and have mid-drives with double the power, but the Durban Pioneer model is rear hub powered and priced lower at 2300 US dollars. The Pioneer model is built to be ready for any rough conditions from mountain paths to gravel roads. Powerful 750 watt rear hub motor delivers 80 newton meter torque, advertised, and 26 by 4 inches Canada tires will take you anywhere. The acceleration is smooth but still powerful, gains speed slowly, set up to be comfortable and user friendly. Compared to other two models I reviewed, it's not as quick, but it's set up to save energy and give you that extended range. Top speed. I reached on flats 26 to 27 miles per hour, but pushing really hard and squeezing all I could. Comfortable light pedaling, you get easily 23 miles an hour. Range, advertised 30 to 50 miles, and that is most likely in the first eco mode. With 215 pounds and fifth mode, I covered 25 miles in range. Not bad for this size and 75 pounds heavy bike with 26 by 4 inch. That's really wide, heavy wheels. The screen is easy to read, day or night conditions. We have original design, and I like it a lot, especially when you ride after 5 to 10 seconds. It turns from this to showing the speed on the full screen. Really cool graphics. Very comfortable ride. This frame is gigantic. We have these massive wheels that increase comfort. The suspension is super smooth for the city and does well off road. You can ride pretty much over anything. Guys, we're looking at the Darwin Pioneer Fat Tire electric bike. This is 26 inches by 4 thickness. And uh, we have on this model a very sleek frame design. I like this uh, gun metal uh, black uh, color and we have 15 amp uh, hour capacity battery it's very thin very long and it's very nicely integrated in the frame if you look around here we have indication button here the key insert and the lever when you pull it comes out uh, very nicely done and uh, i saw it online and it doesn't look as good as it looks in reality very nice paint job Attention tail, it's very good. I don't see flaws and uh, after unboxing this bike, I haven't came across any issues. And the wire here needs to be adjusted a little bit. I have to zip that here maybe. Uh, that's pretty much it. Or maybe put it around that way. But uh, a lot of travel on the fork, very comfortable fork. We have hydraulic brakes and these are very good brakes. These are the Logan hydraulics. I use only one brake because it's holding the camera and very good stopping power. 180 millimeters rotors right here. Awesome brakes, guys. I love these brakes. And I think they're two piston on each side, one. Uh, work very good and I like the integration. Look how nicely they uh, insert the rear rack. And very nice bend here. You have this uh, connection for the bungee cord. I don't know if you saw another video, so this one came without a bungee cord, but you can buy it for like $15, $18 and has three uh, straps that go around your uh, your load. And here we have some info, maximum load capacity, 25 kilograms. Very wide, comfortable chair. We have this uh, grip here uh, in case if you roll your bike in storage or let's say if you roll it in your garage. Uh, very useful, grab like that. Very cushiony chair. Not a lot uh, to extend here, but uh, I'm 6'3", and this is good enough for me, and I still have so much left, so that's uh, enough. And on a website, advertised up to 6'5", between 5'3", height up to 6'5", which is plenty and uh, covers the entire range of uh, various heights. So this is the bike, and in front here you can also install uh, front rack have a very powerful light and I'll show you a shot uh, in nighttime. The suspension is good enough on the front. It's actually very plush, very soft. You put a rear seat post uh, suspension and you can take this off-road easily. Like these tires will handle uh, very difficult terrain. Here we have two screws for the bottle cage or bottle holder. 
and let me show you guys the grips standard grips we have uh, this minimalistic console haven't seen this design before very interesting we have low normal high and power and we see here speed real time trip odometer and the watts power output we have standard uh, shimano seven speed uh, altus shifter and thumb throttle so let me show you guys the shimano shifter here so we have a small sprocket here and it's 43 teeth and outside diameter so what happened here so the settings they use here is they lower the power output so maximize so 835 150 watt so it doesn't uh, allow the motor to go maximum power but uh, you extend the range because you save you can some less energy and you pedal more so there's no ghost pedaling i was cruising uh, mostly 23 miles an hour very easily very medium to light pedaling so good quality motor i like the details the screws looks very good and uh the cables are outside up to the kd sensor here and then everything else it's in the frame coming out here um, no rubber gasket here just like that which is not a big deal but uh, i think rubber will look much nicer here and this wire organization which is not bad actually i wish we had this wires coming through the frame that'll be so much cooler and here we have the Katie sensor it actually starts after you pedal half of the turn uh, half of the cycle pedal turn which is pretty good very comfortable guys very comfortable bike uh, it lines up with the uh, wild time 5600 uh, that i tested but that's mid-drive and it's around three thousand uh, dollars and uh, also Hemiway, but that's the pro it's off-road it's very expensive very high-end uh, complex suspensions but this is in between this is like more of a budget version 2300 bucks it's a lot of money but you get a lot here for this bike you have a nice frame big wheels a decent motor and you get a very capable battery we have here plastic fenders no vibration well connected rear light yeah overall the bike looks very well put together and also we have this uh, Lamical uh, phone holder I posted the I think several videos ago the first mount this is the second one solid and I can mount it in different position and I can see the screen I also have my phone here on the left hand side the bell and I like this brakes guys these brakes are awesome very good power you can operate one finger very comfortable overall I like this bike it's another massive huge frame this bike can handle up to 350 pounds on, on load so a lot of power here a lot of capacity this bike will do well on the park trails camping or hunting paths the paint finish is super nice the bike looks cool in person and pictures or on the website not so much while I was testing in the city a lot of people approached me at the lights and asked me about this model The brakes are phenomenal, great stopping power and so easy to use. The charger is 2 amps, a bit small for this battery size and takes about 8 hours to fully charge it from empty. I would recommend 3 or 4 amp charger for this battery size so you reduce charging time to 4-4.5 four, four hours. If you live in a city like New York City, it is an awful option, it is big, heavy and hard to get inside or outside the building. But if you have a house and a garage and you like to ride various terrain types and commute to work and space there, it's not an issue to park this beast that it's a fantastic bike to ride. It has plenty of power and range and will get you to your destination fast, easy and in style. Guys, this was the review of the massive Durbin Pioneer Fat Tire electric bike. Please make sure you hit that like button and share this video if you found this review informative. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.